my name is Lindsay Kyler. I am playing Hermia and Peas Blossom. So I am one of the lovers and a fairy. Uh, my name is Felix Mays and I play Puck and Philistrate. Puck is the mischievous servant of Oberon, the king of the fairies, and Philistrate is the nice composed servant of the Duke of Athens. Uh, I'm Sarah Swift. I'm playing Hippolyta and Titania. Uh, Hippolyta is the conquered queen of the Amazons, and Titania is queen of the fairies. Yeah, I'm uh, James Michael Riley. I'm playing Bottom in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, Bottom is one of what's called the Root Mechanicals, um, a man with aspirations of being a great actor who is then transformed by the fairies in the course of rehearsing a play. Oh, Midsummer Night's Dream is special because it's full of themes and ideas that we still understand today. We know what it's like to love someone that our parents don't want us to love or uh, you know, to want something that someone has taken away from us or you know, uh, be afraid or surprised by the mysteries of magic. Yeah. It's fun. It's sexy. There's so many different... It's funny. There are so many things in this one play and there's something for everyone to enjoy. And it, uh, lends itself to a lot of different kinds of adaptations, including, obviously, in the case of Mendelssohn, a symphonic adaptation. Um, but so, I've seen so many different productions in so many different styles, um, and they're all fun. Uh, this type of production is just uh, so filled with energy. I actually did the Romeo and Juliet last year, and was so excited to come back because you get wonderful energy from the musicians behind you, uh, and the house is always so lovely, so um, it's just incredibly en energetic, yeah. But um, hearing Mendelssohn's music under the scene in which I meet the Queen of the Fairies when I've been transformed into a donkey, turns it into something that is ineffable, I think, in the true sense of the word. And Mendelssohn told us how we're supposed to feel by putting it into his music, and Shakespeare gave us all of the language and a lot of other emotions and options to help us create our characters, so it's, it's like we're just working through all of their mediums. And all of these different worlds are coming together, like in A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is probably why this is the perfect play for this uh, kind of event. And you need to make the time to come see it, because it is a one-of-a-kind show.